guys, Ezra here. Welcome back to my cigar lounge. Today, we're going to be checking out something I have never had. I've never had this cigar. I think we're on cigar number 12, but this is an Uncharted Robusto. I don't know anything about this cigar, like, at all. After this cigar right here, I only have two left. This is handmade in the uh, AJ Fernandez factory in Nicaragua. The wrapper is a Liguerra Habano. Ecuador wrapper. The binder is Mexican San Andreas. The filler is Nicaragua. Jamstron? Never heard of that before. Origin is Nicaragua and it's supposed to be a medium to full body and the Maduro shade is uh oh, I'm sorry the wrapper shade is Maduro. Give you all a little bit of a close-up. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and cut this thing up. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. It says the notes are supposed to be a uh, spice, earth, coffee, a little bit of creaminess so we'll see what it is we'll see what it is you know you can't trust what they say sometimes you really can't trust what these guys say but for the most part they are on it uh, everyone's taste buds are different you always have to remember that current temperature outside is 55 degrees it feels perfect right now and i don't want to get any lower it is supposed to rain actually later today and then snow so i am going to be putting my car cover on but let's go ahead and jump right into it it's currently 6 30 on the dot as always i got my trusty v cut right here try to get this one open it seems like the cellulose was a little bit tighter on this one yeah it's pretty tight on there wow that smells just like a hershey's chocolate bar that is crazy this one feels really tight like look at it hold on I hope this is the dessert stick because uh, I did already eat dinner. Looks like it is a double cap. Yeah, double cap. Let's just do a V-cut. We're not going to do no heart-shaped cut again. Let's just do a V-cut and let it ride. If y'all can see that let's go ahead and get this thing lit one thing i do want to say though the hardest part is honestly figuring out how to like do a perfect light like i wish i could get like a professional person to just come here light my cigar and then just leave every time i smoke one i know it sounds crazy but it's one of those things where i feel like you're gonna mess up regardless i'm just gonna go ahead and light it but i don't want to od it okay the smoke on this one guys hold on we're gonna we're just gonna let it over there um overall i taste a little bit of pepper i do already taste pepper it's definitely creamy i've never heard of this brand i don't know anything about this brand so let me know in the comment section below uh what you all think of this brand if you had them i really love to hear what you have to say yo <laughs> that foot smoke is a oh my god Gosh, that's probably one of the worst foot smokes I've had and it's blowing right at me because the wind is just like, yeah, let's go this way. I'll do one more puff and then I'll talk to y'all in the first third. Okay, I just posted a little clip on Instagram with just my opening thoughts on there. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow me there. It's just Angelo Giles, no spaces or dots in between. It's already burning better uh i did touch it up a little bit just because i already could tell i was like let me not let it get to that point yet all right the foot smoke is probably one of the worst foot smokes that i've ever had on a cigar but besides that i do get some amazing coffee notes i also get that nice little kick of spice and uh it's definitely creamy the draw is definitely tight on this one um i don't know why they did it so tight. i could tell too because it just felt super firm i was like oh man and it is a little bit hot it's a little bit hot but I'm not going to mark it. Like I said, the burn is definitely good. I have no complaints there. I will talk to y'all in the second, third. Alright guys, so take a look at this burn, man. It's perfect. Ash is holding on real good. I haven't touched it. I haven't done anything to this cigar. It is perfect. Um, as far as the notes that I'm tasting right now, we're in the second third here. It's amazing. It is coffee filled. It tastes like, okay, so it tastes like what ground coffee smells like. It tastes like what ground coffee smells like, which is amazing. It is so good. Like if coffee actually tastes like what it smelled like, 
man, I would love coffee, but it doesn't. I only drink lattes and frappuccino, and those things are filled with sugar, as we all know. I honestly have no complaints. It's not too crazy. It's a very light pepper. Like, it's like very little like it's like a little hint of pepper this nice earthiness to it very creamy the draw is tight i'm gonna see what happens when i take the sticker off but uh i'm enjoying the cigar like it's really good i'm just vibing with music y'all saw me bobbing my head i was listening to some music uncharted first time ever having y'all i will have to try y'all again in the future but that'll be a long time from now this thing has a horrible foot smoke oh my gosh it's like cigarettes. It's like one of those, you know, those Marlboro, those Camel cigarettes. Yeah, those ones. That's what it smells like, the foot smoke. But the taste of it is amazing. I already know I'm going to have to wash my clothes ASAP after this one. I hope you all are enjoying the video. And if you are, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. And uh, I will talk to you all in the final third. y'all whistle let me know in the comment section below it's really not that hard um oh i just noticed this this just happened but um i'm in the final third now took the sticker off i did have a slight tweak of burn issue but i fixed it really quick it was like legit one touch up i don't know what happened when the ash fell off um i don't know but the notes i'm getting now man it, it's changed so the pepper is gone this is like the first time i actually noticed like a major change in a cigar so i don't know if that's me getting better but i noticed that i'm getting a woody note now and i think it's either oak i really think it's oak and by by that i mean when oak burns that smell that you get that's what i'm tasting that's the best way i can honestly put it for you it's either oak or cedar i really do think it's oak but it's a really nice wood note the coffee is definitely still there that's the main thing that i taste and i love it the main thing that i'm getting now is coffee some cream and uh the woody note the draw is making this impossible I probably won't be able to finish it just because of the draw. Probably I'm going to stop like right here. Like right here is where I'm going to stop it because it's so tight right now. I don't know if it needs to burn through that, but there's no reason to even burn through that because you already know the flavor might go. But usually there's really no reason to go to the final third unless it's like a smaller cigar because then you get all the flavor usually. Uh, usually the bigger cigar though, the more the flavor is going to leave there's a lot of cigars out there though that are made very well and you will get that flavor all the way to the nub which is great construction this one the flavor is still there like i said it's not a bad cigar at all i enjoyed this one i don't know really where it sits as far as uh i don't even know what number this is like i said i'm gonna check right now actually so this is cigar number 13 for me so cigar number 13 oh that's actually great because i just realized so the last cigar will be 15 cigars in total so that's great 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 way to finish it out 15 cigars i'll come back in the future and definitely try out the davidoff and the uh, arturo fuente bellicoso cameroon i will try those two out that is probably going to be it for a long time for me smoking cigars if i try something new i definitely will try to do a video on it. obviously i want to let y'all know it'll definitely be sporadic though so it's going to be out of nowhere and you're going to be like oh snap you got a cigar video it's probably going to be like that my final smoking time on this is 48 minutes it's probably going to be honestly this is more than likely an hour smoke without a doubt this will probably be an hour smoke i like it around that 40 45 minute cigar even the smaller ones it's kind of blows my mind because the construction is so well on so many cigars i mean look at it now it's pretty much razor sharp but the construction is so good on cigars even the smaller ones that it'll last 40 plus minutes and you're like what i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see some more content like this i'd love to have you join the channel remember to enable push notifications so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel and until next time you guys peace out